This is AZ Audibles. I'm Haley Stasiak here with Jordan Hammond, Eric Sorensen. Week zero action is in the books. We are here in week one. Who are your week zero standouts? Let's focus on that first. Well, I was at Chaparral in Hamilton. Overtime win, just a, a great, great game to start the season off. And the two guys that really jumped out to me on Chaparral's side was Tommy Christakos and Devin Crawford. We know their names in terms of the, the offensive prowess they had, and they each had touchdown receptions. But what they did other than the offense is really what jumped out to me. Tommy Christakos had the game-tying field goal 44 yards in the last minute of the fourth quarter, and Devin Crawford played defensive back for much of the game as well, made some really big plays. Coach Brent Barnes said that a lot of these guys were tired on both sides of the ball between Hamilton and Chaparral, but Crawford playing both sides, he really didn't see much fatigue in him, and that came up big as they were able to pull out that victory. I was out in Queen Creek for Centennial and Castile, and although you could tell from the opening possession that the Coyotes were going to have their way with the Colts, didn't mean they had any answer for senior Zach Nelson. The wide receiver was nearly unstoppable, had double-digit catches, including two touchdowns. What impressed me most about him, guys, was his ability to run after the catch, either whether it be drag routes across the middle or just something out in the flat where he'd take the ball, break a couple tackles, and use his speed to get to the outside or break it right down the seam. He had a great game, and he had 800 yards and eight touchdowns last year at the 3A level. I really think he's going to even improve on those stats as Castile makes the jump up to 5A. I was at Morana Horizon, and a couple wide receiver defensive back combo here for Morana. Isaiah Roebuck, only a sophomore, but he showed out for the Tigers. He had two touchdowns on Friday, 77 receiving yards, two solo tackles. He's a young guy that Moran is going to rely on heavily this season for sure. Coach Ramirez acknowledged that after the game. The other guy is Diego Miranda. He's a senior wide receiver, defensive back combo. Yep, good 53 player. yards receiving, one touchdown, three solo tackles. He's a vegan, and post-game, Coach Ramirez told me that he was kind of joking with him, played 48 minutes of just hard-nosed football. That's what he said he liked out of this team. He was joking with me that he might become a vegan, too, because of the energy <laughs> and just the energy that Miranda had playing throughout that game. So good stuff out of both Marana and Horizon, but Marana took the win there. Let's now talk about what we're looking for with Week 1 action. What do we got here? I'm going to keep focusing on Horizon. They're taking on Higley up in NAU inside the Sky Dome. Expect a lot of points, two really good offenses. For the Huskies, you have to focus on Chris Grillo. You saw him, Haley, last week. Yep. 13 Long rushes, 188 right yards on the ground. He's a game-breaker every time he touches it. On the opposite side, of course, Spencer Brash at Higley. 400 passing yards, seven touchdowns in their 48-47 win over Paraclete, a school in California. And you have to look at the way Eddie Zuby runs that offense to have a guy like Brash who knows where to go with the ball depending on what the defense is doing is huge. Again, lots of fireworks expected in Northern Arizona. It's going to be a great game. For me, it's going to be Pinnacle Mountain play. I personally think that this is the game of week one. I'm going to be Agreed. out there on Friday night. Pinnacle beat Perry pretty big, 59-33 oh, yeah. final score there. Rattler had 415 passing yards, four touchdowns, 46 rushing yards, and a rushing touchdown as well. I'm also going to be keeping an eye on Caleb Covington, who had 147 receiving yards against Perry on Friday night. This is Mountain Point's first, week, first game of the season, so watching quarterback Nick Wallerstadt, Lecrae Pleasant-Johnson, and Jakeem McKinney at wide receiver as well for Mountain Point. You know, the Pioneers have never had a problem scoring. If, they're, if their defense is just – Average to good, you have to figure they're going to be a huge player in 6A, and they may be able to take that next step once they get to the playoffs. I have Chandler and Queen Creek. I'm doing play-by-play -play on Sports 360 AZ uh, for this Tune week. Tune into that. Uh, absolutely. And uh, you have Chandler coming back. They lost to Centennial up in Corona, California. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're coming off a loss. Queen Creek last year came into Hamilton. Uh, the, the 6A power back when they were 5A got the win. Can they repeat that against Chandler? It's going to be definitely... Definitely a tough test against the defending state champions, but this is a really fun early matchup to kind of see where Queen Creek is at and how they fit into 6A. Especially when you consider Chandler coming off a blowout loss. You don't hear that very often when mm -hmm. you're talking about the Wolves. So interesting storyline to watch on Friday. We've got a new feature here on AZ Audibles that we're calling the Social Snap. This week, we're looking at Saguaro. They're five-time straight state champions, and they've run out of room on their scoreboard to post their accolades. So what did they do? They now have 11-time state champion as their note on their scoreboard instead of listing every single year. They're just uh, running out of room there. What a problem to have for uh, Jason Mons and the staff. You know, the scoreboard's not big enough for all those state championships. You know, talk about first world uh, Arizona high school football problems, They're right? They're going for six, six straight here in 2018, so we'll see that. 
That's what we've got for you this week on AZ Audibles. Be sure to check out the Friday Night 360 AZ Preview Show with Jordan and myself on Wednesdays at 11 a.m. live. And you can catch it on demand on sports360az.com as well as Eric's zone read that he'll be posting on Thursdays. Use that Friday Night 360 AZ hashtag every week and you may see yourself on AZ Audible's social snap. We'll see you next time.